Peace to the gods, guardians, and gargantuans. Thank you for being here. Today's offering is a video on a subject that is my life force. I need it like I need air. So I'm very serious about it. Especially since I get to describe how I feel about it to complete strangers. Or if, even if you already know me, let this serve as an official public record of how Matt feels about music. How do I feel about music? I feel like music is the school of all thought. Also, I'm taking yet another approach to the style of this video today. I'm going to incorporate random clips that I could lift from random places. I've seen it done before really well. Can't for the life of me remember whose video it was that I saw it done so good that I was like, yo, I want to make videos like that. Edgar Casey once said, if you learn music, you'll learn most all there is to know. I'll never forget when my middle school band teacher cried in front of all 60 to 70 band kids, telling us how we were the best band he had ever taught. But enough about me though. Let's get to the point of the video. Why music is a school of all thought. Number one is it's recess. Why? Because we get to play it. Enough said. <laughs> Number two, music is a science. Every instrument, every riff, every vocal was once only a thought that became an audio hypothesis experienced by a listener in hopes the end result would be pleasurable, unless the scientist is purposefully torturing the listener. Number three, music is mathematical. Whether you're talking about tempo, rhythm, double time, triple time, middle time, chord progression, you name it. It's all mathematics. We could take it back to ancient times where it was known back then that all nature consists of harmony arising out of numbers. Musical acoustics is a fundamental branch of physics and I could go on. Number four, music is a foreign language. Have you ever even seen sheet music, bruh? Let's not even talk about psychoacoustics. These are both just simple, pure Number tones. five. Music is history. Think about La Marseillaise. A song sprang out of the French Revolution, talking about arming citizens against Austrian aristocrats and having the blood of said enemies water their crops. Or how about Radio B92, a Serbian radio station in the 90s that used to play NWA when the government controlled every other media outlet in the country. We can talk the Nueva Cancion movement in Chile, or Idhal, out of the Arab Spring by Rami Hassan. Last but not least, all of hip hop for that matter. I can't think of anything that has affected everything more than hip hop. Hip hop is the gatekeeper of cool. Six, music is physical education. Imagine carrying a brass instrument everywhere you go for two years, or being in a marching band. Think about the calluses and blisters, or blowing through a wind instrument for 30 seconds straight till your face turns purple. Music develops insight and demands research. It will help you go within yourself and figure out what you do and don't like. And once you figure that out, you can go find more of it and sounds that have that same type of feel. Music is all these things, but most of all, it's art. And that's why I live, eat, breathe, and sleep it. Not because I expect to play or sing my whole life, but because it's what keeps me human. It's beauty in a state of vibration. It's infinity I can touch. It's made out of love, compassion, hardcore gentleness, more goodness, more life. The function of music is to release us from the tyranny of conscious thought. Sir Thomas Beecham said that. Shout out to you, Sir Thomas. You was on a song.
Oh, right. No <laughs> You don't want to be on the front on the phone? Did you pull something smell? I don't know what it is. Let me check that diaper. Let me check it. You're backing up into a corner. Oh, yeah.